The following is a Fox 30 UPN2 Community Spotlight. Well, when I work with Neon, I, I really love light. That's one of the things. I would say that when it comes to passion, the passion is the light. Neon art doesn't have a very long tradition. When you think of glass, it has a tradition of 1,500 years or, or 2,500 years actually, the Egyptians worked with glass. But the tradition of neon really dates back to the 1920s when it was introduced as a commercial advertising media. I think as a neon artist, it's very important to me how I communicate in that I communicate through neon to the public in a way that maybe is inexplicable. I know that my work is very abstract and that the public might look at it and want to see a very coherent message, like a pink flamingo. I don't make pink flamingos. I make things that are more abstract. It's very important to me to let the viewer bring more of their world to my work. Being aware of my partner, Pat Collentine's incredible work as a neon artist, I thought I would incorporate neon into my cast paper. I've really brought a unique approach to handmade paper by combining it with neon and painting. The neon is really a, adds mystery to my paintings. It, it's a collage element, but it is the mystery within the paintings. So when I mix the neon with the painted surface, they almost, they're almost so rich, they both are kind of flow into each other. A lot of times I'm just playing with ideas. I'm going on a whim or a feeling. It's very intuitive, but the key is not to stop yourself, constipate yourself with whether or not this is important, but just to try and produce and make things. So I guess I consider myself an art maker. This local arts feature was brought to you by Paradise Pip Printing, Sierra Nevada Brewery, and the Ray Morgan Company.